So what exactly is business intelligence? Well, business intelligence is meant to provide an easy means for all users to access the right data. Consider a large organization. We have data spread out across databases, SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, Word documents, Excel spreadsheet, access databases. We need to provide an easy means for all users to be able to access the correct data based upon their sector. It gives IT tools to manage access. It's not just the ability to access the data to provide relevant data to the users, but also to secure that data to ensure quality and compliance. The ability to pull external data from a marketplace or unstructured data. Now, consider that we want the ability to access data such as census information. You know what? We don't have that, but it is provided through Windows Azure, through SQL Azure. Easily combine data from existing enterprise data within the cloud or on the pres uh, or on premise. Not just the ability to say, all right, look, here is the data that we have within SQL. And go ahead and download this data and you can enter it manually to combine this data and automate these processes. Now, what are the benefits of business intelligence? Well, first, reporting. The ease and the ability for our users, regardless of their experience, their IT knowledge, their IT ability to access this data within relevant and uh, a format that they understand. For example, a power user. Well, the power user might not just be interested in a two-dimensional flat report in reporting services. They also want to be able to interact with that data to provide analysis, to provide predictive analysis, trending, forecasting, the ability for them to access this with tools such as Power Pivot or developers to build multi-dimensional cubes or tabular data projects or the ability to provide uh, data mining models to apply one to nine different algorithms on a multi-dimensional cube using SQL Server Analysis Services. An overview of our BI stack and looking at this slide you'll notice at the bottom, we have SQL Server Integration Services. SSIS begins the BI stack because you'll see that Integration Services integrates the data. It takes data from a number of different sources, from SQL Dynamics or Microsoft Dynamics, SQL Server, Access, SAP, Oracle, uh, the Cloud, Hadoop, integrates it and loads it into a data warehouse. From there, we can go ahead and provide data stewardship. Now, using Master Data Services, which is another tool available, allows power users to be able to qualify the data, to apply standardization to the data, to remove duplication. It's all stored within SQL Server in our data warehouse. Once the data warehouse is populated, we've applied our consistency. Now we can go ahead and create cubes, multi-dimensional cubes using analysis services, or in 2014, we can also provide tabular data projects. We can use analysis services to create a tabular data project or to import a power pivot project into analysis services. From there, we can now use reporting services to build reports off of it and then deploy reports over to a report manager or to deploy them to SharePoint. So here we can see the overall business intelligence stack within Microsoft SQL Server.